Hello and welcome to another video with me, Christian Rauchenwald. Now in today's video, I want to show you another browser that you can use instead of Google Chrome or whichever browser you're currently using called Brave Browser. Brave Browser, like most other browsers, including Google Chrome, is built on Chromium and Chromium is a free open source web browser maintained by the Chromium project. Another browser that we recently looked at that's also built on Chromium is CryptoTab and if you're curious about my review of CryptoTab you can find the link to the video in the card up here. Now there are a couple of reasons why I personally love Brave Browser so much and basically replaced Google Chrome completely with it during the last couple of months. I'm gonna share all of them with you. The first reason which is kind of like also one of the best reasons is compared to Google Chrome Brave Browser uses less resources. On average Brave Browser uses roughly 33% less of your device's memory and page load times are up to three times faster and on top of that it also uses less bandwidth because Brave Browser comes with a built-in ad blocker called Brave Shield. So it prevents ads on most websites that you're visiting from loading and it also prevents things like the Facebook Pixel, Google Analytics and so on from tracking you on those websites which saves you a ton of bandwidth on top. Now if you're at home and you have an internet flat rate you will not care that much about your bandwidth usage especially if you have a high speed internet connection but Brave Browser is also available on your mobile phone and there it does the exact same thing. So if you're using a device that runs on battery like your phone or your laptop Brave Browser will basically allow you to use your device longer because it's using less resources and also reduce the data use so the bandwidth or the data traffic that you use on your mobile phone which could potentially even save you a couple of dollars if it allows you to downgrade for example your mobile data plan on your phone because of the bandwidth that it saves you. And Brave Shield, so the integrated ad blocker in Brave Browser also keeps track of what it's done for you. As you can see here on my computer Brave Browser or Brave Shield blocked more than 130,000 ads and trackers over the last couple of months and saved more than four gigabyte in data transfer, data bandwidth usage. And as you can see on the third number, Brave Browser also saved me an estimated of 1.8 hours of loading times. How does that work? Because your browser doesn't have to download the advertising images or the Facebook pixel code and so on. It means you can interact with the websites faster, which actually really saves you time in the long run. And while I'm not using my iPhone very often to browse the internet, as you can see here, Brave Browser on the iPhone also blocked more than 2000 trackers and ads for me since I've installed it there. Now for me personally, that's already more than enough reason to use Brave Browser. It's faster, it uses less memory. If you are on your laptop or mobile phone, your battery will last longer because it uses less resources. It has an integrated ad blocker and because it's integrated and not a browser extension, that ad blocker also works faster and more reliable than most Chrome extensions that you can install. I can use all of the Chrome extensions that I love from Google Chrome without limitations. And it also comes with a sync feature like Google Chrome to synchronize my bookmarks between devices, for example. But there are also other reasons why I'm personally using Brave Browser instead of Google Chrome or anything else and why I think you should too. One of those reasons would be that when you use Brave Browser, you can earn something called the basic attention token, which at the time of recording this video has a value of roughly 35 cents per token. Now there are a couple of ways how you can earn those tokens. One of them is every time you open a new browser tab and you look at the Brave Browser home screen or dashboard, you will see a background image. Now often that background image will be some beautiful picture of nature, but sometimes it will be sponsored content and you basically earn a small amount of basic attention token for looking at those paid background images. On top of that, here and there you will receive a notification on your device and when you click on the notification it will show you sponsored content and for that again you will earn basic attention tokens. But I want to take one thing away, using Brave Browser will not make you rich. As you can see on my dashboard here, although I'm not clicking on the ads that Brave Browser offers very often, I achieved 9.63 basic attention tokens during the current month, which have a value of slightly more than $3. Now, if I would calculate that amount or use that amount to estimate my earnings in a year, I'd probably be looking at something around $40 in a year, which definitely won't make me rich, but 
it's kind of like an additional benefit. I get to use a browser that's already faster and performs better than Google Chrome. I get to use all the benefits that I love or all the features that I love from Google Chrome. And on top of that, I get a little amount of money. And once you've earned a certain amount of basic attention tokens, you can sign up or link your browser with your Uphold wallet. And there you will have to undergo a KYC process. So again, confirming that you're a unique human being. And once you've done that, every month your coins will be transferred from Brave browser into your Uphold wallet, where you can then either exchange them, transfer them and so on. Now, if you don't wanna do that, you can also disable advertising in the browser settings or you can enable the auto contribution feature, which means you earn brave attention tokens for, again, looking at paid content on your dashboard or dedicated advertising that you click on when you receive a notification. And then every month when you, for example, visit my YouTube channel or you watch other YouTube creators or certain Twitter accounts or Reddit users and so on that have their profiles verified in the Brave Rewards program, some of your basic attention tokens will be donated, so taken from your balance. And then depending on how much time you spend watching or looking at the content of each of those creators distributed to them. So to sum it up, in my opinion, Brave Browser is really the best solution out there right now. It's faster than Google Chrome, uses less resources, saves you data on your mobile phone. If you're using a laptop or a phone, it increases your battery lifetime because it uses less of the resources. And on top of that, you can earn basic attention token. And if you don't care about those couple of dollars of basic attention tokens that you can earn, then you can simply enable auto contribution in your settings. And every time you're on Reddit, you watch a YouTube video, you're on Twitter, or you visit any other website that's verified as a brave creator, you can auto contribute some of your tokens to basically support the people that run that YouTube channel or are behind the Twitter account and so on. Now, last but not least, I'm sure some of you, if you watched my CryptoTab review, are wondering which browser you should use now. Should you use CryptoTab to mine cryptocurrency while you're browsing, or would it be smarter to use Brave Browser? And in my opinion, it makes the most sense if you use Brave Browser for browsing on all your devices, because again, a lot of benefits there. And if you still wanna mine Bitcoin or cryptocurrency on your computers, then you can use NiceHash or HoneyMiner for that. I'm also gonna put a card up there where you can find the reviews about both of those providers. So so you basically have one browser that's really for browsing is faster and better and you have a dedicated software for mining that also will provide you better payouts compared to CryptoTab. As always, if you have any questions about Brave Browser, you can either ask them in our Discord community. A link to that is in the description of the first pinned comment down below, or you can just leave them in the comments down below and I will answer them as soon as I have some time. Thanks for watching. See you in one of my other videos. Till then, bye-bye.